I just made a day night system which is few clicks you can choose which time of today you want and why do I need that let's talk about it when I need to create a scene from scratch to shoot a cinematic or just a cool scene I want to make I just create a whole lightning and sky from scratch and also it was never being the same so I needed to, to find a solution I searched YouTube some Udemy courses and other resources that I could find on the web and I found some pretty useful content. Before that, all these complex material systems was looking like hard to do and confusing for me, but don't worry, if I did, you can do it too. It hasn't been finished yet. I will add stuff like rain, thunderstorms and some similar weather conditions like that, but I need to watch more tutorials and courses to understand how can I do it. Also, I want to add different skyboxes to like Mars, Moon or maybe some other planets, but just for now, the Earth is enough for me. So let me show you how it is working basically and how you can use it when you download from the link in the description. Okay, I just opened the Unreal, I'm just going to File, New Level and I'm just going to create Empty. Don't save it. Okay, we have empty levels. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to our Blueprint and I'm going to take BP Dynamic Sky and just put it. And that's it. That's all I need to do actually. So let's check the details panel. As you see, there is a time of the day in the basic settings. And this is basically the hour. For example, I want to go to 11 a.m. And boom. Right now it's 11 a.m. It is m much easier when you're doing with daytime so let's go to nighttime let's go to 3 a.m and now we have some stars in the sky and a moon you can change a bunch of different things in here i can change moonlight density something like this and it's changing the whole mood because the moon actually working like a directional light which is uh, a bit different than normal daylight it's more weaker but still it's working like the same but i'm still gonna go with 0 0.6 you can change the moonlight color if you want to make it like a red moon color you can change the moonlight color if you want to give another kinds of color on the moon and make something like more bluish maybe you can change ground albedo and ray light scattering in the night. You don't have to show stars. You can just open and close it. You don't have to show moon. You can just open and close it too. You can change the scale of the moon. For example, if you're making some kind of like apocalypse thing, just make moon so much bigger. As you see, from the ground, moon just getting massive. I'm just gonna go turn back. You can rotate your moon as like you want. It's just based on degrees. Let's make it 30. And it's rotating 30 degrees. You can change the moon tint. Let's say you want to make a red moon. Something like a vampire style. Here it is, a red moon. The light density of the moon looking a bit different. You can change the moonlight color. Or maybe you can tweak on the texture settings, which I'm going to show you later. There's also moon brightness. You can make it brighter moon. Or less brighter moon, like that. There's also some tiling for the stars. If I can change 1 to 0 0.5, there will be more bigger. What about 1.2? There will be more stars in the sky also i don't know did you discover it but actually all the stars and stuff is turning so you can change panning speed make it 100 to show you and as you see it's turning pretty fast right now just make it one there's also start noise tailing it's also about how far the stars will be on the sky so let me show you let's make zero five changing on this 50 
the whole tiling is just changing as you see there's just a bunch of things I will add that you can customize in your scene if you don't want to do it in here from the night settings or base basic settings you can just go to material material sky sphere and to go to instance as you see I just change I can change a much much more thing in here you can change to some settings of stars and moon which is working pretty good for example, we can change the tiling break noise channel to green or blue. And it's, as you see, it's changing the tiling. Of the whole sky. You can change the stark tints, you can make, uh, change the color of them make it more dramatic scene in the bp dynamic sky actually we're using things that you can already use like sunlight sky atmosphere skylight exponential high fog post process which is unbound default moonlight and sky sapphire so actually it is not so hard to customize for you when you go to Dynamic Sky, I just added notes, for example, everything is happening in construction script because I want to do changes happens in the editor, not in the just play mode. So it is pretty basic. You can, un if you know Blueprint a bit, you can understand what is this thing. For example, this, there's a function named handle sun position. I'm just going, you can see from French 0 to minus 180 it is basically the position of the sun at the morning for example let's say then 9 a.m and when i changed it's working with that it's pretty easy to use it it's like moon position moon rotation of us before down and there's some macros that I'm using. If you want to write your own custom scripts that you can use, you can use those macros. Like, is is it daytime right now? Is it nighttime right now? Which basically, is it daytime? Not. Maybe not so clever way to do it, but still, it works. So let's go to construction script again. There's also some handle visibility. If is daytime, is Sunlight will be visible and moonlight will be not visible. And if it is false, moonlight will be on the sky and sunlight will be not visible anymore. I'm still watching a lot of tutorials and uh, courses so I can update it this. As I said before, I want to add some different skies. Something like in, in another planet or something. So if you want to use this basic version of dynamic sky right now you can download from the description also if you like the video please subscribe to the channel like the video and write the comments down below i'm reading all of them so until the next video see you all i hope you all doing great